Doctor, first, and this was something that I heard from Robin Staines with, right. with Advance, that this is you know, the, the president kind of watched the, uh, the Oh, today. absolutely. And especially, it doesn't hurt that he's from our state, first of all, and then the uh, mayor-elect Rahm Manuel is his, was his chief of staff. Uh, but Advance Illinois, Stand for Children, did, has done a very good job, especially after, well, not so much for Stand. They came in after a race to the top. But from that, it kind of chiseled off a big block of ice that's been there for a long time of everybody in the educational world, you know, the unions, the, the um, reform groups, um, the associations, parents, you name it, coming together. It never happened before. If someone would have said five years ago we were going to be able to accomplish what we did today with Senate Bill 7, they would have said, absolutely not, you're out of your freaking mind. But it, the, the, our stars were aligned. You know, after Race to the Top, we had a good working group together, um, Representative Mitchell, myself, Representative Eddie. Um, Senator Lightford, we started to call uh, uh, to actually codify the group that we started with uh, uh, Race to the Top onto this bill with the tenure and the rift issues and how to get rid of bad teachers and make it a little bit more difficult to strike. And we came up with a really great piece of legislation. Of course, you know, we started the Reform Committee back in December and we kind of egged on the process, but um, with all due respect, Senator Lightford wanted to begin it over in the Senate, so we allowed her to. Uh, Representative Eddie and myself were, uh, were involved in the discussions, but not in the room because we had spoken to a lot of those people. But now at the national level, President Obama and his, his executive person, Arnie Duncan, for education, are very excited about what Democrats were accomplishing here in the state of Illinois with education reform, with tenure, and um, with valuations and what have you. So we're going to end up, you'll see some of our people going to Washington and testifying in front of uh, their educational committee with Arnie Duncan, seeing how we got it done to maybe possibly duplicate this in other states. Because what you see, you have Wisconsin, the drastic one end, and then Illinois, that we actually got it together as Democrats. Um, so I'm really proud of the legislation. It's just, you know, from A to Z in education, the problems with education, that's like A subset 7, you know, because we have a lot of issues. But if we can tackle getting the bad teachers out of the classrooms, doing the personal evaluations to include student performance, and that means a lot of stuff, you know, environment, what have you, we're on our way to really changing the face of education in this state. And with what the president put out there with STEMs, STEM, the STEM uh, block being so important, uh, I think that what you're going to start seeing is once we, I uh, give us three years as far as getting that all worked out with the ten teacher tenure and the evaluation what have you, what you're going to start seeing is we're going to be able to put more money into zero to eight and we'll start getting it right along the system. But the fat, the really sad thing in the system of education since I've been here nine years is that every time we let one year go by, that's a generation of kids we weren't able to help and process the, through the system and make sure that they were actually productive and they're going to get great jobs and go on to college. Because what we're seeing right now is, was shocking, is you universities, or one university in particular, 80% of the kids coming in their first year have to be remediated. 80% of those kids. It's not their issue, but what they have to take on that water, hire more people, expand more dollars to get those kids up to first year level um, of college. So we're dealing with a lot of issues in education, but uh, I'm glad I'm here in history and time to see those groups all work together. We're going to have some difference, but to, to have all those groups get together and produce Senegal 7 is, is something that's unheard of. Is this going to be remarkable for the process or for the for the actual substance of the legislation? Well, you, you know what, it's kind of all together, okay? It's both because uh, what we finally have done, you know, people hated No Child Left Behind because it forced in standards, right? And we have a lot of failing schools. I try to think of things as an optimist. It started forcing the discussion in the classrooms throughout the state of, of the world, if you will, because it started here in the United States and now you see other countries looking at things. It started the discussion on what are we actually doing to the child and why aren't we managing how they are learning and what are we doing about failing schools and things like that and innovation and creativity. Nowadays a third a three-year-old has more capabilities of un understanding an iPhone than the first year teacher in a classroom. Think about this. So the technologies haven't come up to speed. As soon as a, a, a teacher gets in the classroom first year she's already obsolete. These kids have out advanced us even as we're speaking. My, seven year, my seventh grader, my husband, he's a Duke grad, can't do her math. There's issues in the system, right? And we know this. So there's a lot of complexities there. But what it gives is a solid foundation for us to build off of. I mean, now that we have that component of teacher evaluations, getting, getting, um, uh, you know, dismissing teachers that are bad or remediating them and giving them the tools that they can learn from, maybe mentoring, strong mentoring program with teachers that are Golden Apple awardees and recipients. But it la at least gives us now a foundation. But before we were just taking a, a you know, a dart and throwing it against the wall and seeing where it was landing. This actually gives us a process to build off of. So when the question you said is great because it's both. 
you, you, you talked about this earlier, that Democrats in Illinois did this. And, right. and I didn't think it would happen. I thought, I thought that the unions right. would fight this. I, right. Just, you know, the old politics of it. But right. what is it about the way that Illinois approached this that allowed this to happen? And, and what, particularly as a Democratic legislator. Right. Well, I want to say, and I don't know so much about Senator Lightfoot's side, but whenever I've come to the table, we'll start off with race to the top. And I got a lot of heat from this, is that I had all the unions at the table and that FOIA, inf that stuff that came up with FOIA, I gave them my word that I'd come back and correct that. Now, I didn't renege on my word. Okay, I got the legislation, and the media went crazy because I started uh, saying, you know, future valuations are off hands. We were building on momentum to get where we're at today. I couldn't allow that, that evaluation to be public, okay, to give trust. And I think when you start seeing that the Democrats working that well with the unions, because we've always had, but getting their trust, right, is another thing. And having it at the table and understanding that there's legislators at the table that are going to keep their word and always keep their word. So it's not an easy thing. And the scary thing, too, is like what you said, is Democrats getting this done with unions. Unheard of, right? Look at our neighbor Wisconsin and what happened there. We, we didn't want that to happen. You know, CTU started some commotion. Well, because communication lines in Chicago and, and the President Lewis weren't open, right? So they didn't fully understand the bill. So we're starting to get that out there. So I think what you're going to see is we're going to be able to really, because of the foundation we laid with Race to the Top and now with Senate Bill 7 education reform, you're going to see a lot easier. But the key, total key to success is that everybody's at the table. It really is that everybody has their input. Sure, we're going to fight initially. You know, the initial piece of legislation was to not take away strike language altogether. You know, and that's drastic. Well, we didn't want that done. Not, and my members didn't want that done either. So, you know, I'm really proud of the piece of legislation and all the hard work that both sides put on it, especially, you know, the Senate side. And I think what we can see is some more great things out of the state of Illinois.